1876, it was a schoolhouse. Today, the doors are still open, but for a different reason. It's a getaway. It's away from the hustle and bustle, and we need that. Charlotte Shapperclaws is the owner of the old school on the hill bed and breakfast in Chamoy, Missouri. Charlotte and other business owners in rural communities depend on tourism dollars to survive. University of Missouri Extension Specialists are helping community leaders across the state attract tourists by spotlighting their town's history. Community heritage is really a little larger than tourism because not only do you attract people from the outside, but you build on festivals and the stories and the histories that also hopefully attract the local residents to get involved. MU Extension Specialists say cultural heritage tourism is ideal for rural communities. It supports traditional businesses in town, but also provides employment income opportunities for local artists. We are not going to bring large industries to small rural communities. And so this is something that we can do. We can do with a small number of people and can grow that. A Missouri Division of Tourism Studies says people interested in cultural heritage spend more than other tourists. Staging plays about the town's heritage can be a creative way to draw in visitors. If you put theater and history together, you get a whole different audience, a whole new audience that will come because it's something historic, it's something they're going to learn something. Well, this is your room. This is important for people like Charlotte who live in Chamoy. Tourism will help keep the doors open for business while the town's special characteristics remain intact for future generations. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.